Hi guys, my name is Mayank and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a particular thing that I learned from both Naval Ravikant and James Clear. Um, so there are two different things which I learned from both these uh, authors and individuals and I just combined those two things to bring about a change in my life which really really helped me to uh, grow my uh, content to make more content and to make better content on on social media and on youtube specifically so i have been following naval ravikant for a long time now and one of his quotes which definitely struck me when i uh, heard to his podcasts and read his book as well was that inspiration is perishable act on it immediately so this means that whenever you get any kind of inspiration any kind of idea in your mind you need to take any kind of action towards it uh, for example if i uh, let's say i want to create a video and i get an idea about one of the topics for it um, if i don't note it down somewhere or if i don't take an action towards it uh, it gets dis it disappears after a while i forget it uh, we as human beings, we feel that we will remember these ideas and we will know, we will maybe come back to them um, in the future. But it's not as easy as it sounds. We often forget things. So it is important to note it down somewhere or take some kind of action towards it so that you don't miss out on it. I often used to get ideas when I was alone, when I was um, in the shower or going on a walk somewhere or maybe alone in my bed. And I often used to think that, okay, I've got this idea now and let me just keep it there. I will remember it and come back to it later. But when I woke up the next morning or after a few days, I often used to forget it. So to solve this problem, I decided, decided to note those ideas as soon as I got them. So let's say I am in my bed and I got a kind of idea for a video or maybe a uh, anything any kind of content maybe i want to post something on instagram or facebook so i just note it down somewhere so that it, it stays with me and i can come back to it easily i will not forget i don't have to make that extra effort to remember that idea now talking about james clear so in his book atomic habits james clear has said that if you want something to be a big part of your life you need to make the cue or the signal a part of your environment so now if you note down your ideas and just keep it in a shelf uh, which is very very far away from your place of work where you don't even see it every day it can be difficult to come back to those ideas because they are not visible you forget that you even have kept those ideas so it is important to understand that if you make these ideas a part of your environment you will remember them uh, you can keep them in front of your table whenever you come to work you will see it or maybe you will keep it in front of uh, you in front of you as a as, as a poster or something like that or maybe you just uh, add a sticky note in front of your table so that whenever you come back you uh, look at it and try to make something of it so i needed to make these ideas a part of my environment so that i see them very often if i see them every day or if i see them a few times every day i will be motivated to take some action towards it so for this purpose i decided to buy a whiteboard which is stuck here which is stuck in in near my table and whenever i sit on my table whenever i sit on my desk to do any kind of work i have a look at it and it really inspires me to take action towards those ideas. I am motivated to create content. So to solve the problem of my environment and coming back to those ideas, the solution I got for it was the whiteboard. So you see how I combined two ideas from two different people who I read, I understood, and I tried to understand how I can apply them in my life and I made them uh, a big part of my my life and I have really really benefited from them now whenever I get any kind of idea whether I'm in my bed or anywhere I just make sure that I wake up and I just note it on this whiteboard so that whenever I come back I look at it and I'm motivated to take action towards it 
I hope you found this video useful. Maybe you can apply something like this in your life as well. The idea here is to not just read books, to try to get some kind of uh, motivation from them and apply those things in your life. If you don't apply non-fiction books in your life, there is no point of reading them. You are just consuming content. You are not applying it in your life. Try to apply them and make your life better. So that was what I wanted to share in this video. I hope you found it useful. And that was all I had for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.